What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate reverse rants, no hate. Now, there's a video that surfaced, which I don't feel like playing all of that. Let me just talk you through it. So pretty much at the Tank Davis last fight, you know, him and Garcia, Gary Russell Jr. and his brother were sitting ringside. So Gary Russell Jr. is vlogging through the whole fight. So he's sitting there chewing on his gum, acting all arrogant and cocky, laughing, talking about how he'll beat Tank Davis. They better keep their best fighters away from him because real talk, I ain't going to hold you. I beat him with one hand. This shit is embarrassing, man. What I'm watching right now, his brother is yelling out to Tank, do this, do this, do this, right? Somebody sitting next to them yelling at Tank, do this, yo, do this, yo, throw that, throw that. Right? Okay, Gary Russell, one of his brothers just got his ass whooped a couple months ago. Gary Russell just got his ass whooped a couple months ago. Now, shouldn't you be campaigning to go back and fight the guy to get your belt back that beat you because you only won because of my arm? Instead of calling out people that's not in your weight class, he has been doing this for a while now. He calls out names of people that's not in his weight class. And he know he's not relevant enough. He's not relevant at all at 130, 135. So nobody's looking at Gary Russell, taking him serious in those other weight classes. Every time Gary Russell does that, he has a fight coming up. Gary Russell, Lomachenko beat your ass. And he never called Lomachenko name like he's doing with these other guys that's not in his weight class. So this is Gary Russell just trying to stay relevant. He's trying to make himself no, he's trying to make himself relevant. The longest reigning champ in boxing for a long time lost his title to a guy that was relatively unknown. And things do happen. I believe he only had one hand because he was only using one hand in the fight. You know, at, you know, at, uh, he was, he was, you know, up until when, when he was doing his thing until that happened, you know, you saw a difference where he was only using one hand. But even before the one hand situation, it's not like he was dominating. You know, it's not like he was in there. Oh, he's tearing his kid apart. And he wasn't dominating the fight. But regardless, and I like Gary Russell's skills as a fighter. But let's just be real. Why in the hell would Tank Davis waste his time on a 126-pound fighter that's not in his fucking division, not even a champion, nobody talks about? The whole time he was holding the title was the longest reigning champ. Nobody was bringing up Gary Russell's name for nothing. The most attention Gary Russell got on himself in his fucking career is when he was talking about Terrence Crawford. Tank Davis and calling all these 135 to 40 to 47 pounders out. And then he didn't monopolize on it because he got his ass whooped in his very next fight when he finally did get in there. And the thing is, even like with Devin Haney, we saw Bill Haney sit there, take the contract, the term sheet that was sent, held it up to the screen and said, is this or is this not the term sheet? Whoever was speaking, whether it was Gary Russell or somebody speaking for him, but if you look at the time sheet, but they, they, all they kept talking about was the night of or whatever. And he said, okay, you send me a term sheet. You, you write the terms. Gary Russell is a talented fighter, but he's too goddamn arrogant and cocky for his own good, man. And, you know, sitting there smacking on that gum and laughing and smiling and talking and talking. Again, like I said, trying to make yourself relevant. If you can't dominate 126 pounders, let me just tell you something. Tank Davis will knock Gary Russell little ass out cold. He will knock him spark out. He's like, he flat footed, he this, he that. Let me say this. Tank, when he started touching this guy, got to the point that dude said he couldn't see. He ain't come out for the damn whatever round it was in. But Tank Davis had the court situation a lot was going on. Now, I'm thinking maybe because of that situation, maybe him and Ryan agreed to not talk about it. I don't know. No, let's just keep that buried. Maybe he didn't bring it up. I don't know. Maybe he, that fight didn't happen because of his legal situation and, you know, the distraction. 
maybe something like that could have been, you know, why the fight? I don't know. Because at the end of the day, you know, and then I say I don't know because, you know, they was talking to Ryan Garcia and then, you know, he starts saying certain things. And Tank was saying certain things like boxes are full of shit because one minute they praise you, the next minute they saying you ain't shit, you scared, you don't want to smoke, then the next minute you're good. For it's like all of this and people call this dumb shit entertainment. It's just stupid to me. But at the end of the day, we'll see what happens with him and Ryan. If it, if it happens. And it's just been too many times with these guys. All of them. Their names have been synonymous with each other for years now. And nothing's happened. So, we'll see. But as far as Gary Russell, yeah, you know, I saw him sitting there ringside. There's no way you're going to sit there and vlog the entire fight. And you don't have a fight coming up. Or something going on where you're trying to put get your face out there. There's no demand for Gary Russell. He's not a draw at all. And pretty much... No one really in their right mind see him beating Tank Davis. They don't see him. Do you see him beating any 135-pounder? Do you see him even beating Shakur Stevenson? No. So that's all he's really doing. But what I'm saying about him overall with Gary Russell's situation is Lomachenko beat you. Why are you not calling Lomachenko name out for a rematch at 135? You know, the guy that just beat you last, why are you not calling his name out? Why are you not trying to get your title back? And in fact, it's not that it's not good fighters at 126, because there are some, you know, there's some, just some good fighters there, but none of them have any star power. So it doesn't matter if Gary Russell was to fight and win his belt back. Nobody's going to care. Those, you know, straw weights, fly weights, those little banner weights, those guys just not, they don't draw. When the last time you seen a fucking headline, a main event, a pay per view, where a fucking bantam weight or straw weight or a fly weight was the main event. It just doesn't happen. So pretty much, he didn't say, I'm coming up to 135. No, so he's still campaigning at 126. So that's all that was. And then I guess somewhere after that is when the fight broke out, or not the fight, but the, the little verbal altercation with him and, you know, Meek Mills or whatever. But... People, it's funny to me because when you hear these fighters talking and they're barking and making all this noise, it doesn't matter how much you like a guy as a fighter. And like I said, I like his skill set as a fighter. Gary Russell can fight. But Gary Russell, he's at a point to me of he's bitter. I think even as champion, he was bitter. He fight once a fucking year. Whose fault is that? So the notoriety is not there. I remember before he fought Lomachenko, he was like real arrogant. <laughs> like, this motherfucker only got two fights. He gonna beat me? <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> good luck with that. Huh? <laughs> Lomachenko tore his ass up. And all you heard was excuses as to why he lost. That's all you heard. Not the better man want, man, yo. Man, yo, this wasn't right. That wasn't right. Yo, I was dealing with this. I Nobody wants to hear a sore loser. Nobody want to hear you keep singing these songs. Just admit you lost the fucking fight. Move the fuck on. If you want to fight, don't this make sense to you guys? If he wants to fight Shakur Stevenson, then go to fucking 130 and start campaigning at 130. Call him the fuck out. Try to get the fight. If you want to fight Tank Davis, you have to at least go to 135. All right? Nobody's trying to hear your little ass talking about going to one goddamn 47. Because we know damn well you ain't going to 147 to fight no Terrence Crawford. Bill and Devin Haney already offered you the fucking um, fight. And all those excuses that you made. And think about it. The Haney's are doing, you know, Gary Russell a favor. Gary Russell's name doesn't carry no fucking weight. And he's a talented fighter. But his name doesn't carry any weight. And bottom line, after David Haney smack him the fuck around, what 90% of the people going to say? Oh, man, he's too small for Devin Haney. But his mouth is huge, like a heavyweight. So, as much as I like Gary Russell's skills as a fighter, I just got to say, man, he's running his mouth the wrong ways. Now, he doing what he feel like he need to do. Like I said, he said they didn't vlog the whole fight. 
So as cocky and confident as he's been, oh, he was pretending to be sitting there ringside because he know the fight with him and Tank ain't gonna happen. He know that these, 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 these guys he's calling out is not focused on him. He's probably gonna have some little fight coming up with someone that we don't know. Then he's gonna sit there after he fight if he win and talk about how he want this guy and that guy and how these guys are want to fight him or whatever. To be honest with you, man, it's hard to really get behind people. I like, I, I just like arrogant, big mouth people. Just, it's just like I just, I, uh, you know, it it, 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 it just turns me off because especially when you, especially when you're not backing it up. And the sad part about his whole title reign, right? His whole title reign. Who in the fuck talks about Gary Russell's fights? People still there, you know, no matter what the people think you're going to lose or want you to lose, whether it's you, Davis, Tank Davis, whether you, Devin Haney, whether you, Lomachenko, you know, whether you, Ryan Garcia, whether you, Tiafimo Lopez, whether you, Josh Taylor, whether you, Adrian Broner, whether you, Tyson Fury, whether you, Anthony Joshua, I'm naming people whose names are constantly being spoken. Nobody's talking about Gary Russell. And they're not talking about nothing he does in the ring. So if his name does come up like what I'm doing right now, it's only because of something that he said or did recently where it was pretty much outlandish and stupid. Stupid because he's not going to get those fights because his name just holds no weight. They have nothing. It's a step down for them. They have nothing to prove or gain by beating Gary fucking Russell. Okay? It, nothing. They have nothing to prove. Nothing to gain by, by fighting him. They fight him, they beat him. Like I said, he's too small. It, plain and simple. So, in the weight class that you campaign in, you're making it known that these guys have no popularity. And there's really not much for you to, to gain. Staying at 126, but that's where you are. So, if he wants change, stop talking shit. Move up to those weight classes that you're calling these names out. That way, if you want, you really want to fight... At least they can say, oh, well, he went up to 135, like you said. As of now, it's just talk. And that's all it is. Not just as of now. That's all it is. Just talking. Somebody who might just feel like his mouth is too big and want to punish him might just, you know, let's say if Shakur Stevenson decided, you know what, I'll fight this motherfucker. Come up to 130. And I believe Shakur beat the brakes off of Gary Russell. If that fight was to happen, it would just be one of them, like I said, let me shut his mouth for him. Easy. Got this money out of here. Man, Lomachenko only had two fucking fights and he destroyed you. He destroyed you. You know what Devin Haney would do to you? You know what Tank Davis would do to you? And the thing is, with all that little hit and run shit that he would try to do, when Tank laying clean on that motherfucker is a, is a rap for him. So me listening to him talk and just watching what was it's like, man. And that's the thing with Gary Russell. There was a time when I was watching him, you know, and listening to him talk. And he seemed to be, you know, pretty down to earth guy. And then I remember the very first time when I heard him actually speak kind of vulgar is when it was him and Adrian Broner. And Adrian was like, yeah, we going to get this money, man. And, Yo, we, we going to take over this bitch. And he, man, these niggas don't want it, man. And it was from that point on, I'm like. You know, that, I ain't give a fuck, but it was just like, I noticed after that point on, it's like every time I saw him after that, he talked like he has a chip on his shoulder. Like he's always mad at the fucking world, like the world is against him. He always just, like his interviews are just so damn boring and like, like just like, it's like, what's the attitude? He just seems like a miserable, sad person. So, all in all, it comes down to this. It's sad for somebody to have the talent that he has. He's been champion as long as he has. And he's going to be one of those guys that they may one day just do a story on him. And he never got the recognition that he, that he, he thought he would have. You know, and like I said, with that kind of talent, yeah, people will look like, damn, what happened to Gary Russell? But overall... What he did ringside is not helping him at all. So, and I made this video because someone asked me, did I see what happened? What was going on before the, the, the fight? 
and I did happen to see that video. Um, but you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, like I say, posting that. The video is like 19 fucking minutes long. It's like I'm not posting this shit, man. I'll just talk about it. But yeah, I mean, he he just made a video of no relevance, man, and nobody's talking about his career. Nobody's focused on seeing him getting back in the ring. And I do like Gary Russell's skills as a fighter, like I said. But his mouth, man, is like his, is that, that arrogance, that ego. And he's talking like he didn't just lose his last fight. Like, you understand what I'm saying? His brother's talking like he didn't just lose his last fight. And all this trying to talk your way, hopefully crossing your fingers to a title shot, waste of time. Talk to me in the comment section. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people, and I will catch y'all in the next video.